This is the battery on a caravan. And there's a bit of a problem where when on 12 volt supply, it's not really doing a lot. So my job is to find out whether the battery is the problem or if it's something else. So I'm just going to measure it. mains is plugged in at the moment it should be charging so we should see more than 12 volts So we've got 14.4, which is good, that means it's charging. If I disconnect the mains, we should see about 13 or 12. Mains is disconnected, just on battery power now. 13.29 so that battery is good look what I've got here this is a filter thingy for one of those shark battery vacuum cleaners um, we've got one of those we've had it over a year now and it's quite good but these little filters you're supposed to wash them it says on the instructions you can wash them out but what I normally do is blow them out with air. That way, you haven't got to wait for them to dry. And I'm normally quite protective over the vacuums. You know, I like to try and stop them from being used like that. But while I'm away, obviously, they're used and you end up with wet and moisture in the filters. So they need to be cleaned. Yeah, a lot of people, they, they, they like to wash these out and do whatever, but, oh man, I find just blowing them out with a bit of air does exactly the same job, and the difference is, you ain't got to wait for it to dry. Good morning everybody, obviously a different day now, um, but there we go, I've got a few things to do, I've got to, um, after I didn't have, well I had luck actually with that battery that you just saw, the battery on the caravan is, it appears to be good, I might still have to get a new one, depends if it holds its charge particularly well under a load, um, but that seemed to be all right. I've got a few other things to do. I've got to seal up the rail along the side and I've also got to um, uh, change the damper on the hitch because the damper's gone. So when you brake, the caravan goes boop into the back of the car. has a big old clunk. And when you pull away, it don't go nowhere until it runs out of travel and goes dump and then off it goes again and it rattles and bangs as you're going along. So that's no good. I've got a new damper on its way. There'll be a damper coming up. Not a damper, a damper video coming up, changing the damper on the hitch. It's an Alco hitch, so I had to get an Alco damper, but then I managed to find a pattern part, so I was like, I'm having that. I'll explain all in that video. But yeah, there we go. I thought, let's do a bit of radio, shall we? Let's do a little bit of radio. I've got a bit of coffee there, and it's a bit of a mess on the old radio bench, and I haven't been and done any actual radio for a long time. 
still trying to find somebody that might be able to find this useful. It's a power supply for one of those um, Adonis microphones. You put that in place of the battery and then you plug it into a 12 volt supply. And But nobody seems to want it, so I had it on my one and it was brilliant. But there we go. This is Costa Coffee, cheaper than Kenko. I thought I'd give it a go. You never know. I've actually just had my very first shower in about two or three weeks. I had one at a campsite, um, but as you know, showers at campsites, they're all right normally, but they're not the best. You know, they're... <laughs> You press the button and you get about 30 seconds and then you've got to press that again and then the floors are always dirty so you get dirty when you're walking out anyway. I have a pair of sandals that I wear inside a shower um, in a um, campsite so you wear sandals but it's not the best. So a little clip now you'll see of my bathroom that I've been slowly chipping away at me and my dad. Slowly chipping away at after we had that massive leak and it meant we had to rip the whole bathroom out because of um can't just do it all in one go obviously um it's very unexpected so have a check this out i'm pretty pleased with how it turned out actually no sink but the shower is done right then let's turn on the old lincoln see the trouble is still got all that noise Sunday, I there is someone out there. You can get a lane, you can get a lane, but uh, yeah, one of those days, mate. It's going to be one of those days. One of those days. No one on there yet. <coughs> All right, let's have a look. Um, hold on. Anyone out there? Anyone out there? Hello? See, the thing is, because I've got about signal eight of static noise, nearly nine, I'm not going to be able to hear people who are far away, but uh, might be able to hear a few locals. Anybody out there today? Happy Sunday. Hi, right, Mr. Bean. Hello. Who's that, sorry? Mr. Bean, this end. Mr. Bean. Oh, good morning, Mr. Bean. Uh, yeah, you've got uh, Alan here with uh, Leon C there, Roger. Hello, Alan and Leon C. How's it going? All good? Yeah, all out and live and kicking, so yes, it sounds good to me. Yeah, you're just on the edge of my noise. I've got a lot of noise here. Unfortunately. Oh well, sorry about that. Uh, I can't get over it. I've only just got out of bed, so um, you'll have to put up with that one, mate. Sorry. It's all right. I adjusted the squelch ever so slightly, and I appear to have got you back loud and clear. Loud and clear. What's on the agenda today, then, Mr. Allen? Oh, not a lot, sir. Not a lot, Mr. Bean. I'm uh, usual, uh, usual thing on a Sunday. Sit back, have a decent breakfast. Wake up, go on the net at 10 o'clock and uh, chill for the rest of the day. No way, that sounds absolutely brilliant there, dude. Anything on the agenda for tomorrow, will it be in a bank already? Same old, same old for me, mate. Get up, sit in my chair all day. Go to bed, get up, sit in my chair all day. Yeah, no, yeah, about the same as average. Really? Blimey. I think we might have spoken before there, dude. I can't quite remember. Um, I think we definitely have, but um, I can't remember. You obviously haven't got. Have you got a job? No, mate. Retired. Oh, nice one. Congratulations, there, dude. That must be brilliant. Cool. Well, there you go. What did you do before that? Yeah, HGV driver, mate, for for thirty odd years. Oh, nice. What type? Arctic. Yeah? Bloody hell. That's alright then, isn't it? Yeah, me, me father-in-law's just, he's just started, he got into that, he's just started it, but he wants to go straight to the top. He wants to go straight in and do the tankers. 
So I don't know how he's going to get on with that, but there you go. I can hear ya, I can hear ya, but cos I've got all this noise, you're a bit scratchy around the edges there, Mr. Frank. Alright, um, let's go on the other one, shall we? Be a bit easier. Oh, that's better, that's better, a yeah, lot better. Well, that's the one, isn't it? Yeah, go for it. Use it. Use the whole lot. Nice. Nice. I had my very first shower today. Oh, it was lovely. Yeah, you're going a bit scratchy again now, Frank. I don't know why. It's not your fault, mate. It's the noise my end. No, what well, it is, I've got new neighbours next door, and um, they they love technology. They've put lights, and they've got all kinds of technology indoors and everything, Wi-Fi and everything like that. And uh, yeah, ever since they put all that up, it's uh, wiped everything out radio-wise. Roger. Roger, that's it. I might, I might mention it one day. I mean, they're nice people and everything, so I might give it a mention. But I don't like to, I don't like to be a nuisance. I don't like to upset people. You see, so um, they've only been there a year. So um, I'll, I'll see how it goes. I'm not on the radio every day anymore, am I? So you know, if if I if I start getting back into it and going on it more often, and it means I can't use it, then I'd sort of mention it to them. But yeah, I think I'll, I'll. Uh, I'll, th I'll sit on it for a bit longer and see what happens there, Mr. Frank. leave the lights on all the time now didn't they it's mad absolutely crazy don't understand it a lot of people were like well it's night time right that's it every light on in every room that's it lovely i'll have all of them on thank you so i haven't got to turn them on when i walk in and out of a room that's mad cool i when i come out of a room i turn the light off I only have a light on in the room you're in that's the way i do it Oh, no, it's mad. Uh, Frank, stand by just two seconds, two seconds. Oh, by the way, you have, you want to buy a crown? I've got one that's only 24, but it's less than 24 years old. A crown? Yeah, a crown, get it? It's less than 24 years old. 
I don't get it, Frank. Right. Still don't get it. I'll stick it on eBay. No, that's all right. It's my, um, it's my troll sense of humour. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't get the joke. Never mind. Yeah, can we change subject? Any subject you like, apart from uh, the Lausanne Gold Crown, in it. <laughs> Frank, remember I told you about that damper on the caravan? Well, I had a bit of a, I had a bit of a lucky score. I managed to get one right, brand spanking new, for thirty quid. Wow! Well done. Where, where on earth did you manage to snaffle that one from, eBay? No, from um, um, a leisure shop in Lancashire. But there is a small catch, but it ain't a bad one. I got hold of Alco, and um, they. <coughs> Sorry about that. Got hold of Alco, and they weren't, um, they couldn't sell me one, but they told me what the part number was. I looked it up, found a leisure shop, found a Maypole one. Maypole's not the best, but it's it's alright. Um, pattern part, 30 quid. Oh yeah, it's up 3 99 posters. For 30, 34 quid total, but yeah. Yeah, so that's that. I got the week off of work, so that's coming. That's supposed to be coming on Tuesday. So um, any luck, I'll get that, pop that in. It shouldn't take long. Just got to take the hitch off, unscrew the two bolts that hold the old damper on, do the reverse. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Away we go. What the nuts and bolts? I'll put some PB blaster on them already, mate. There's, there's, they're already fermenting. Don't worry about that. Oh, you're well ahead of me. You are what? I'm impressed. Yeah, well, I get, I get excited, Frank. And you know, I get excited and uh, like to get that done. I bought some sealing strip as well to seal up the leaking rail along the side, and uh, away we go. Happy days, I think. The only thing I do want to do. I know you're not supposed to seal the underside of caravans, but um, I do. I want to try and see if there is because obviously they 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 were sealing it and the floor will go rotten because it's wooden. But um, I'm 26 years old. I do want to try and preserve the floor on and try and see if there's a product that I can treat the wood with. I don't think there will be, but I'll have a look. Any idea you've heard of anything? Well, no, not really. It's all. It all appears to be per reasonably sound, considering it's 26 years old. Um, but I want to keep it that way, you know. There's a few bits on the corners that are starting to flake, but I don't want them to go any further. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to um, replace that with a bit of fresh wood. It's only on the corners at the front, you know, like if you're towing in the rain, you're moving along in the rain, the spray will come up with it and go underneath. Um, but I want to protect them it's not like where the front bit is what you got what do you call it a boot or whatever where you put your gas bottle on that well the wood under that and the corners is starting to flake but the rest of it's all right so i want to replace that with a bit of good stuff and then um sort of try and seal up um the rest of the floor to stop it absorbing any water um because i know they're treated to start with but 26 years you know it might not be that good anymore and i don't want it to go so but um, trouble is, you're not supposed to put any seal or nothing on them because then they rot, they trap the moisture in. So it's a tricky situation there, Frank. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only thing I was going to suggest when you were originally asked, um, I don't know about uh, Lanyard Guard, which is obviously a, a wood repellent. Uh, it's what they recommend for uh, Land Rovers and 4x4s and stuff like that. I've actually done, I've got to do it again this year. Once it's all evaporated, then um, the only thing I suggest is um, stick a DM in 
Nah, I looked into that, Frank. That ain't no good. I've, done, I've been doing a lot of reading, a lot of research, and it's no good. Everywhere says there is no product. <laughs> I know you're going to say, why are you still looking then? But apparently there is no... You, there's nothing you can put on the wood to seal it. But it's just a pain, really. Everywhere just says, well, when the floor starts to go, you put a new floor in. But I don't want to put a new floor in. The floor's not gone yet. It's all right. But I want to prevent it from going. Do you know what I mean? But um, ah, it's just one of them things... Me being me, Frank, if, if we ever move on the move and it starts to rain or we go through some rain, I'll always be thinking, oh, that rain's going to be going up underneath on the floor and it's going to be, it might be soaking in. And I, that's what I'll be thinking, mate, you know. But if I've managed to find a product and sealed it up, I'll always be thinking, ah, oh, it's lovely and sealed. No water's going to be getting in there. Everything's going to be dandy. Well, there you go, look. My noise has all of a sudden dropped down to 3 on the 19. Oh, it's come up a little bit now. 3 on the 19, and uh, it went down to pretty much 1 on channel 40 after chatting to Frank for a little while. How good is that? Back to the old days. Love it, man. I dropped me box of heat shrinks. Oh, that was all organised. Well, it ain't any more. Right on you lot, I'm out of here. I'll catch you lot later on. Remember, look after yourselves, love life, and just enjoy everything because that's what you're here to do. Ciao for now, you lot.